Okay. Remember, give me a shout out, yes or no, and uh, that way I know you um, you can still hear me. So I'm going to undo this and just start over. Now I've got a real simple sphere, nothing basic. It's just went up into Lightbox. I loaded a simple sphere, default sphere. I turned perspective on so that uh, things stay as orthographic as possible, which is really important when you work with uh, models like this sometimes, especially when you start using the slice curves that just cut through the surface. You don't want perspective on. All right, now you already remember that if you press control, you mask. You can then draw on the surface something. And then we can go to polygroups and we can group mask. And all that does is just create these masks. Okay, I can come in and say add some pieces. Let's just try something else. I'm going to say group masked. Clear that. I can also control drag across here. And if I was to just at this point group masked then it would cut all the way across all of them. But I can also use visibility. So control shift click and then group masked. And then control shift click outside. And my polygroup did not affect the previous one. So I was able to keep this intact. And just use the area in between. That's a real basic demo or a real basic uh, point, but it's actually kind of part of the crux of what we're going to be doing moving forward, is hiding models, hiding part of your model, grouping it, masking it, back and forth. That's really the basic uh, grammar. So let me check in now that you've had a moment to write some questions. Um, if you're asking about, uh, Daniel is asking about the tests, and uh, that was just a, the test that you got, if you've taken the test already, was uh, just a demo. Uh, so we can touch base on that afterwards. Uh, Jeff Hall is asking about the camera angle. I keep it at 50 for um, portrait stuff, mech stuff. Like I said, I'm turning perspective off, so that doesn't matter. And Kathleen's asking if these masks appeared on the other side. And no, they didn't. Because I'm using a brush. If I would have masked across, that would have appeared on the other side. Okay. Alrighty. So now we've got this real basic thing set up, and this is just this is the grammar of it. Like I said, so you come in and you kind of make these these groups, and uh, let's say group masked. Come in, and then we come into geometry, and in the edge loop palette, we come in and say press panel loops. Can't do it with subdivision level, so you have to de delete your lower or your higher, whichever one. I'm going to turn polyframe off because the resolution is irrelevant at this point. And uh, I'll increase my thickness 0 0.05 and panel loop. Also, I'll, I'll get it back to where it normally is. There we go. Okay. So this is real basic. This just shows you what panel loops doing. And so for those of you who aren't 100% sure, I'm going to just explain that right now. Um, what it does is take the polygroup itself. It separates that into its own extraction. So it's basically extracting that geometry. And then it's adding a bevel. So you can see this little beveled edge right here. So on both sides you see a bevel. And now if we were to come in and say press control shift, you can see it's also added some poly groups. So let's turn poly frame on and zoom in. So we've got this. If we click this vertice, I'm going to click this vertice right where the blue and the green meet. If I do that, then I'll get both of them. And you can see that there's one, two, three, four, five. There's going to be five of those loops. And if you come to panel loops, you'll see there's five there. 
So it's working very similar to groups loops, but it's adding an extraction and a bevel on top of that. Looking at the questions? Okay. I'll look at the uh, select just a row of polygons, Ryan. Uh, let me do that a little bit later. So with this said, this done, this basic demo, you can imagine a lot of hard surface stuff can be done. But let's get in and start to look at the features themselves with just this basic example intact. Okay? We're going to get a lot more complicated, but I don't want to get too complicated just yet. There's a whole bunch of features that were added here uh, that we really want to kind of look at. So I'm going to undo. The first thing that we did is we adjusted the thickness. Now you can certainly adjust that, you know, too big. So you go into panel loops and you see everything just explodes, right? And if I come all the way down, I click uh, double, you can see everything's quite a mess. And if we undo, you can see that that extracted out quite a bit. So you're not going to, number one, get a thickness that is necessarily set to any real world measurement. You will always be in a position of uh, having to kind of do it, see if that works, and then undo that. This gets back to the ZBrush measurement uh, and ZBrush unit thing. Also keep in mind, in these thin areas, you'll get them intersecting based on your thickness. So that's just a, a variable to watch for. Uh, 0 0.05 for this one's working quite well. Okay, so the thickness works. Let's take a look at this polish. I'm going to take polish all the way off and just say panel loop. And I bet you kind of figured that one, right? If you add polish, then polish is going to round to the surface. You'll see that later. But more specifically, what it does is it kind of adjusts the curvature in there and kind of keeps this nice and smooth. How much you adjust depends on how much of that curvature you really want. And it's just like, uh, it's just like some of the other deformation features and extractions. It has this open and closed. So we can set this back to five. There's our panel loops. It's a little wonky. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's put that to a closed circle. It's even wonkier. Boom, 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 boom. Let's increase this to 15 and see if we get a little less, and we do. Pretty basic. Let's set it back to 5. Ignore groups. Panel loops, nothing's happening. Okay, ignore that. Let's undo. There we go. Uh, and we need to delete lower. All right. 